What did you do? Subscribe to the fans. Jermaine May Master Center, leader of the Master Master Roundtable, and Company One. Subscribe to this bit. And goddamn. They didn't see this one coming. Most of those teachers just kind of coming, but they didn't see this one coming. Now let's just start at the beginning. We got a small recap of what happened last week right before everybody tried to jump for the portal. Just for, yes, Toji Fujiko to jump to it. Spoiling, spoiling their first attempt and only attempt to get through the portal because the second he showed up, the portal was closed and it was over. Now, Toji that we seen when he first came back is already a different Toji that we got now. Yes, we're still on first name basis because there's two Mega Man's. I mean, two future girls, I know what I'm saying. I've been tired as fuck this week. I really need to give you this whole same spiel I gave the Dr. Stone review. And as I was saying, yes, Fuji Goro told you Fuji Goro didn't indeed show up. However, he had he's a non sorcerer right now, and basically, you know, his eyes are black, which have a lot of people comparing him to Naruto. And Naruto, I mean Sasuke. I meant Naruto characters, but I'm about to just start this review over. I'm out of it right now. Leave me alone. Long story short, Toji just went straight for the strongest guy there, and you cannot debate, like it or not, that it was a cessation from last week. His beach domain expansion is yet. But not before he slick bummed out Maki there and just took the dungeon show straight from her and be like, I'm gonna use this. There's Toji Fujigoro has watched Boo Nox as well. Went in on our boy over there, and he basically was using dungeon shows going crazy on him. And it wasn't like it was a clean fight. Like he was just taking him out, took him out, and nothing. The crustacean man definitely did do his thing. It's just that, that kind of one-sided. Those low, those slow burn spikes that makes you realize that the other guy didn't stand a chance in the first place. Kind of making it that much more worse for him when he does eventually lose. Definitely didn't help that OG <laughs> all of a sudden appeared behind dude and helped Toji out. Because as Nanami pointed out himself, they kind of banned everything on Toji right now because they wasn't able to escape. They wasn't able to beat him in the first place. And after that happens, Toji decides to sharpen up the points of the freaking <laughs> nunchucks, goes in on him one last time, and just basically just wails on him, stabbing him, cutting him up until Domain especially officially leaves, and he just dies from getting hit too much. That is exactly gory or gruesome, but a long, slow, brutal death. They literally beat to death for concession, like, just like seconds, consecutive hits over and over again. Until you literally couldn't take it no more. Very violent, thinking about it. And it was that moment when everybody was just staring on wondering what was going to happen next. When they told you he was friend or foe, because nobody knew who this man is whatsoever, it's, it's, including Mega Man. But it appears that they're going to be acquainted, because without even realizing it, just very fast, not even be able to call it actual speed. Mega Man get pushed out by Toji, and now they're just out in the middle of the street. Bad for confrontation. Be safe for later, because back to everybody else, Jogo shows up. Says goodbye to his crustacean friends and just burns everybody. He just rolls up and burns folks. Old head trying to do something, but he just ended up getting attacked real quick. This is the other side of bumming people out. Even though these guys just went into a huge fight last week, he just gonna show up right there to scavenge you, like just vulture and pick the bones. So where did this come from? I mean, I didn't, I didn't know, like Jogo was a bum or nothing, but see, Gojo made this man look like he was nothing. I'm sure there's levels to that, Gojo, yeah, but. We didn't have freaking Nanami out here. I get it. Nanami's not Gojo, but what the fuck? You got Jogo out here just burning people's faces off. Especially Maki. That hurt. Now, if I had to make a guess, they're probably not dead. Because they care of the shit. But damn, it's kind of just like, bruh. How much is left, anyways? Like, is that the point we got now? We had with Maki, Nanami, and O heads down. It's Joey was already down. Gojo is sealed. It's like we're really waiting for everybody else to lose. We got May Mayor Hiverna, but she's going up against Ghetto right now. Ugh. And that could be about to beat Toji, nigga. Kukisaki was told to stay behind, so I'm not sure where she's at right now, but... As if that's safe. Girl? Girl? Hey, y'all, I gotta do nothing. I gotta freaking, uh... Watch my con video. Anyways, went to AWA last weekend. Watch my con video. Watch my AWA con video, y'all. As I was saying... Yeah, I kind, of, I, I kind of feel like we're really just at the point now where everybody just, we're just waiting to see who else gets taken out and how bad it's going to be when we take this L. This is the big hype of trying to, behind the Shibuya arc. Everybody getting fucked up. IRL kind of forecast this, but really? But I've been saying this for weeks now. I've been saying this in different ways, but long story short, how can it get worse? And while I've been proven wrong multiple times already, it's the true. I think we officially reached the peak. 
Y'all know what I mean. Six and nine is back. And I have not been keeping up because apparently Ichidori not only just swallowed 10 at once, apparently now has 15 of the 20 fingers inside of him. Most people only have 10 fingers to begin with. So, Jesus Christ, let me pray. We are lucky as fuck. Just curse after a prayer. But man, basically those two girls that was going to Ichidori last time did not want to help him at all. They just wanted to bring Suki in the back. Those two girls are connected to Ghetto. Which I hope this ain't the first time we recognize that because I had no idea who those girls were. I'm gonna bring back Sukuna, which is also Jogo's plan because he sensed that Sukuna was trying to be awakened, went over there, bummed out the girls, at least he thought he did. These two random girls took the fire attack better than our main cast. In the moment, he's just Gojo, not Gojo, Jogo. I know I was gonna put that at least once. He pulls out the 10 fingers, beat him on Itadori. How is he swallowing fingers this easily, let alone doing it while knocked out? Devil's advocate. Never swallowed a fucking figure in my life. These make it look so easy. Especially since that dude got like long nails. And then you look at my finger. It, 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 that man's finger is bigger than normal. No, we gotta talk. What the hell's going on here? But anyways, yes, Sekuna is revived. Not temporary, only for the time being, that's pointed out. You know, he apparently has a plan to stop that. We heard that one before. <laughs> but he is back. Face tattoos, a hair flip deck, and all. And being really telling people to bow to him. And <laughs> Juggles ass almost got beheaded because he only went down to one knee. Now the reason the girls brought him back and wanted him to come back is to kill the guy that got Geto's body. It's like Gojo, they realized that that's got Geto down there. And even though they don't like Gojo, they hate Gojo, they want Geto back. However, second does not care. He brought this man back just to ask him to do things. He really that second night. No more cases to piss anybody off in these days. They only call you when they need you, goddammit. Thinking about it, how long has it really been since we've seen Sakuna trying to strike deals and shit? There was something the girl had going on with her phone. <laughs> how she apparently was taking a picture, able to take out folks, kill people, or protect them. Honestly, Sakuna kind of just threw that to the side, kind of like how I would have. You didn't make it important. So it's not. <laughs> now, in regards to Jogo, when Sakuna asked him what he wanted, he was just like, I'm done. It wasn't true, but in hindsight, probably the best way to handle the situation. Dog, I'm just following orders. The person that wants something from you isn't me. It, it, it just asked me to do this. Like, don't oh, worry about me. Matter of fact, I'll let you figure it out. I'll go on my way. But second, uh, already knows about all of this. He already knows everything that's going on right now. I guess he's looking through his eyes. And he's kind of just like, hey, let's make a deal. Killing two girls and trying to make a deal with you. Now you're trying to propose deals. You are a bastard. If Joe Go can hit one hit on Sukuna, there you go. He'll work under the Ghetto team, and he'll take out, start by taking out every human in Shibuya. It isn't much at this point. Go, uh, Jogo asks if Second does the man of his word, true to his word, as we use that to cap off this episode. Don't we mean to go into this, making the prediction for next week, but since this one is kind of either he will or he won't. Nah. Like I was alluding earlier, man, I don't even know. Like, <laughs> Sukuna, he's he about to... Deal with. I already got Toji about the fuck up of me. And everybody else is getting picked off. Like, where's the point where we officially take the L and call it a day? I mean, it's just a guy that might. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe second up, second up, it might pull a Toji and just go out the. I, 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 I don't know, y'all. It, it is not looking good. I take back my previous statement. We piece we peak my ass. How much worse is it about to get? Bruh. Since the two been kind of painful, huh? Thinking about it. But keep the train going. Y'all watch this video, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Like this video for me, and I'll see y'all. Peace out. Subscribe to the spin move. Mm -hmm.